Hey guys, Mr. Burns here again. And I'm giving you guys a little video on estimating values from graphs today. And it has, they actually have a couple of very specific names on when we do that. And hopefully I'll say these correctly. I always get them wrong. Extrapolation and interpolation. So guys, please, if I say these wrong, please correct me and tell me how to stay, say them. Um, but again, not a big deal if I do. Alrighty, so let's start with this first example. X is equal to 4. So if I look at down here, x is equal to 4, and I go up on my graph here, and you see I have these data points here that I plotted, and I just drew a line through. And I go up until I hit the graph, and then I go over to my y-axis. You'll see that at x equals 4, all the way over, y is equal to 3. Okay? Really, guys, there's no estimating with that. It's just, you know, pretty much uh, we know the exact value because we have those data points. Okay? So x is equal to 4, y must be 3. Okay, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Alrighty, so um, what about this example? 5.1. I'll have to use a straight line for this one. Um, so if I look at 5.1, well, 5.1, I can't exactly say where that's 2. So I'm going to have to estimate here, okay? So I'm going to have to estimate that 5.1 is probably somewhere really, really close to here. Okay, and I'm actually going to move that over just a smidge. Okay, so 5.1 is somewhere right there. And then I go up until I hit the graph, just like before. And then I go over here until I hit the y-axis. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm estimating between these two points. Okay, between this point and between this point, okay? I'm estimating some value of y in between these two points. So the value of y, I make a guesstimate, is somewhere about, I'm going to just say, y is equal to 3.6, okay? So what I did here, estimating between two points, is an example of uh, interpolation, okay? Hopefully I'll spell this correctly. Interpolation, okay? Because I'm estimating in between two points, okay? Alrighty. Now, so it asks us for another thing, 9.3. X is equal to 9.3, so what's the value of Y? When we look at that, our graph doesn't even go that far, okay? So one of the things we have to assume for, uh, in this case, is that our pattern continues as normal. And if it does, then you know what? there's no problem in extending our graph a little bit, okay? So it might look something like that, just like that. And you know what, I'll change the color of that for you guys, just so you see what I added on there, okay? So I extended it a little bit just like that, all right? Now, so now again, I had to estimate what 9.3 is. So 9.3 is going to be somewhere about here, and I'll go up until I hit the graph, and then I go straight across, and I'm going to change the color of those as well. So I'll change them to red as well. Okay, so I go across, and I can estimate that that's probably about 5.7. I'll just make a, a guesstimate. Y is equal to 5.7. Okay, so what I had to do here was extend my graph and um, estimate again outside the points that we already had so the exact what this is called is extrapolation okay and they say I extrapolated my graph I assumed that my pattern continued it continued with the straight line therefore I could just say add on to my graph there okay so I extrapolated my graph now there's I sort of thought about how you could sort of know or sort of relate what those two things meant. And I thought of this. Interpolation is estimating in between two points. So in between these two points, where this extrapolation is estimating by extending the graph, okay, or extrapolating the graph, okay? So um, hopefully that uh, makes things a little bit clearer, okay? So you just got to keep those in mind. All right, let's try one more example. So this is probably a more likely example that you're 
you're going to face. Um, you might be asked to do that with just X and Y, but there's not really any context to that. Alrighty, so it says Jeff plots the first four minutes of his morning jog. How long did it take Jeff to jog two minutes? So I'm looking here, and I got to find two minutes here. So two minutes, it's right here. Okay, I go up until I hit the graph, and then I go across. Let me change the color of that again. Alrighty, so um, I just basically make my estimate here, and it's a little bit above 350. I'll go 360. Okay, how how long did it take Jeff? How long did it take did it take Jeff to jog two minutes? That makes no sense. How far? <laughs> Maybe I didn't I didn't proofread this. Let's let's fix it now. I don't want to have to do this video over again just because of that little mistake. How far? Let's see, how far did Jeff jog in two minutes? That makes a lot more sense. I know some of you guys were looking at that when I first read it. I never saw it. What is he talking about? All right. Crisis averted. All right, so how, how far did Jeff jog in two minutes? Well, two minutes is right here. He jogged 360 meters okay so again this is in, within our data points here even though we don't have any specific data points here this would be an example of interpolation because we're estimating basically inside the data okay within our data now if Jeff continues at the same pace so we're assuming that he's going to continue jogging now in reality he probably wouldn't be able to continue at the same pace how long would it take Jeff to jog a thousand meters so let's extend our graph a little bit Okay, so I'll extend it this far. Uh, maybe make it a different color so you guys can see what I extend it there. Okay, so 1,000 meters. So we're starting on the y-axis this time because we know we jogged 1,000 meters. So 1,000 meters, and I'm going to go straight down over here. And if you look there, it's going to take him just short of... Uh, six minutes, so maybe we can say it's going to take him five minutes and 45 seconds, or if you wanted to say it's going to take him uh, 5.8 minutes or some estimate somewhere along the lines of that, okay? Um, Either one of those answers will be perfectly fine, I think. It's just estimating, right? That's the thing you keep in mind. You're going to have a little bit of a ballpark number that you got to be in between. You don't want to be, in this case, this number. You're not going to say 6. You're not going to say 5.5. You're going to say somewhere in between there. A little bit more than 5.5, a little bit less than 6. What's in between? 5.8, 5.7 will be fine. 5 minutes and 45 seconds, 5 minutes and 40 seconds, 5 minutes and 50 seconds will be perfectly fine. So keep that in mind, guys. This is estimating. All right, guys, so I hope it's clear that interpolation is estimating in between two points. Extrapolating is estimating by extending the graph, okay? Outside the data, this is inside the data. All right, guys, I hope this is clear. If you got any questions, message me on YouTube. Check out my websites. I'll see you in class.